Ondro, I would like to ask you to join me to the stage and show what does it mean from fast to instant. So, Ondro, Thank you. capture the upcoming adventures, achievements and successes, and I wish you that your chapter will be clear success story. Thank you. And now you can see what does it mean from fast to instant. Why we want to be more autonomous in the countries? Because we want to move from fast to instant. It is impossible to move from fast to instant if we are taking decision at the head office. I don't think this is the case, but we see that the world is faster and faster, and we need to be taking the decisions faster. We also want to adjust to the local markets, and again, the easiest way to do that is to be more autonomous in the countries. And the last point was also mentioned on Wednesday, we would like to be more entrepreneurial because we believe that this is the way to unlock the value in the countries. Bottom line, yes, we are for-profit organization and we believe that this is going to create more value for the company and this is going to create more profits. So that's why it's making sense. How we are going to do that um, is going to be evolution. It's what UG is describing as fine-tuning the business model. It's not going to be a revolution where we change everything. It's going to be taking baby steps and enlarging them as we come along. In terms of the practicalities, the second line of defense will definitely stay. We will definitely rely on the risk management, on finance to be the safeguard behind the countries. But at the same time, for a lot of the other functions, we would like the countries to be more bold and take the initiative and basically question and challenge and build their own roadmaps. And again, I think we are doing that to a large degree. And as I'm saying, it's not a revolution, it's an evolution. And what we'll be looking for in that is also to streamline the communication from the head office to the countries. We hear uh, the rumbling about how many different reports there are. Let's be open about it. We have already scheduled the first CEO offsite uh, in Tianjin at the end of August, where we'll be discussing these topics. Again, it's an evolution. We need to discuss these things. We need to bring out the elephants that are in the room, and we need to talk about them and address them. The kids are grown up. It is no longer us, the parents that are living through the kids. We have to let them live on their own. We have to speak about them as you. And we have to basically also, in the way that we treat them, express the fact that we are saying, guys, you are grown up. You need to take your own steps. You need to make your own mistakes. And this is touching on one of the questions that was asked on Wednesday, which was how much of a risk taking are we willing to have in the countries? And I'm definitely saying, yes, we will be taking the risk in the countries, but it has to be calculated risk. It has to be taken with the full accountability of the results. You have to understand what it can do to your bottom line. You have to think about all the risk. In that case, that risk-taking is the true spirit of entrepreneurship because that can unlock the value. <laughs>